Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last here in Wembley. It's fight week. Mark Chamberlain joins me. The arena's just over the shoulder. Um, this is a bit where it gets exciting, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, that was the first bit out of the way. Press conference, weigh in tomorrow, and then Saturday is fight day. So, yeah, it's probably the best part of the whole camp, really, fight week. <laughs> you're one of them fighters who, when it gets to this week, all right, you know you've got to do all this stuff because people are interested to hear what you've got to say. But I know a lot of fighters just say, mate, I'd fight now. I'd literally fight in a second. Yeah, I mean, I, I could fight tonight, no problem. But obviously, you've got to take it step by step and do, uh, do what we've got to do first. Uh, but yeah, I'm always up for things like this. Let's talk about the timeline of um, how this fight came about. Obviously, I think when the show was announced, he was fighting Sam Noakes, Mark Vidal. Um, and then you said to me just a minute ago off camera, you got the call about five weeks ago. So just kind of timeline for us how we got to where we are now. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, about five weeks ago, basically, uh, I was training in the gym anyway. I had been for weeks and weeks before. So I was, I was ticking over, waiting to get a date for July, August. I think they said August. Uh, so we was getting ready for that. And then a phone call come in that this fight was available for us. They said, do we want it? And I was obviously training. I was pretty much there anyway with everything. So by the time the fight come, I'd be more than ready. So, yeah. yeah. Is this kind of a show of belief as well? Because it's all good and well, Frank saying uh, in press conferences and to the media, oh, we believe in Mark Chamberlain. I think he said up there, he's, you're one of the gems at Queensbury. It's all good and well him saying that, but actually putting you in this fight for your first title. Was that the little show of belief in, in yourself? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Obviously, I've had 10 fights now, 10 wins. Um, for them to put me forward for this title, they got to have some sort of belief in me. Um, so, yeah, obviously, I'm here now. Uh, Saturday night, we're getting there and do what we got to do and pick up a first title. What do you know about Mark Vidal? He's campaigned at different weights, been in with Kiko Martinez, but again, as we just said off camera, Every fight is different with each person, but what do you know about him and his style and what he brings? I don't know an awful lot about him. I know he's had 20 fights and 118, so I know he's never been stopped. So he is obviously a tough customer. Um, way the ring, then. Yeah, obviously he's got the experience there, but there is a difference between a featherweight and a lightweight. I know he's tough, but getting hit by a featherweight is completely different to getting hit by a lightweight. He seems to think he's ready, but we'll soon see, won't we? Yeah. I want to pick up on something that was said in the press conference, actually, when um, Dev mentioned Dylan Cheema and he went the distance with someone you banged out in a round. Um, you said you've been watching and there's some other guys as well. Are you kind of paying attention a lot to these other guys? Because one, it gives you kind of a knowledge of where you are. And two, these are guys that potentially you can face. So you are very aware of what's going on in the scene. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, uh I think that the Stu Greener fellow who I fought, obviously I got him out of there in a round. And he, that, uh, I think Dylan Schema, is it? He made hard work of him. Obviously everyone has their off night, but he made hard work of him that night. Um, and then a couple of weeks back, I think I got eliminated to fight Corey Gibbs for the British title. That's a fight I'd take straight away. I've watched that as well. And I, no disrespect, obviously I've, I've got respect for everyone that gets in the ring, but I truly believe I'm levels above both of them. Um, so yeah, if, it, if the fights get offered to me, then I will take them without a shadow of doubt. But at the minute, I'm focused on Saturday night, uh, get through Mark Vidal, pick my title up, and then we'll see what happens from there. Yeah. Just one more thing, obviously, where like I said tunnel vision for Saturday night, but if you win, or should I say, when you win, fingers crossed, um, are you going to get on the camera and be team and call out for these guys? Because yes, they're with Sky, the likes of Dylan Chima and... Um, Lost my plot, Corey Gibbs. Yeah, but you're you're on BT Sport. You're on a big platform. You're going to get in front of the camera and say, "Look, I want these guys, and I want them now." And you, you'll have something to bring with a title. Uh, I don't really need to be begging for these sort of fights, really, because of the platform I've got. I mean, the office will do their job for me. They'll pick uh, the right things at the right time for me, and they've they've obviously picked the IBF European title for me. So we'll see what route we go down and uh, go from there. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.